What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a bit different. We actually picked up a new budget build. It's not really wrecked that hard, so we're gonna complete this entire car in one episode. So this is a 2014 BMW 435i. So we got the car inside and before you guys start asking about how much we paid for this car, we actually paid $9,000, which is a lot cheaper than what we paid for our M4. And this is basically a budget M4, it has the same style and the same look. Now let's go over some of the damages. As you can see in the front, both headlights are missing. They might be in the back, but they're probably broken. We also have a little bit of damage under here. Just some of this stuff is kind of like crinkled up right here. So we'll have to address that in a little bit. Now let's come to the suspension. We do have some suspension damage over here. We actually put a clamp on one of the control arms. That's why the wheel is sitting so crooked. And the tires also got, I'm guessing they hit something and it ripped most of the tire off right there. And that's probably what caused them to wreck. I'm not too sure on that. Now let's move a little bit closer. We do have a damaged door right here. We got a little bit of damage. It looks like he hit maybe another car or something because it's, you can see all these tire marks right over here and slice through that. And we don't really see any damage on the actual frame post right here, but we won't know until we start taking all of that apart. I do notice a little bit of damage right here, but this is all super thin sheet metal, which we'll pull out and replace all that. Now let's go ahead and see what we have going on inside. So inside, all we have is one airbag deployed right here, which is really good. Because usually when the dash airbag blows and the steering wheel airbag blows, you know there's probably frame damage in the front, which this car doesn't have any blown airbags, so it's pretty cool. And man, check out this interior. It's basically just like the M4, and even the steering wheel is exactly the same because this is an M performance package. Really beautiful car inside. It's not too dirty. It only has 55,000 miles, which is pretty low. It's a 2014, so it's about six years old. So that's about average. But other than the damage on the front right side, there's really not much damage around the car. Everything looks pretty good for being six years old. Some of these cars, they do tend to get ragged out, but this one looks like it's in really good condition. There's really no dents or dings anywhere. The tires are in pretty good shape. We don't have any curb rash on any of the rims. And it also has the bigger blue brakes, just like the M4s do, as you can see right there. So if you're ever in the market for a 435, make sure you get the M Sport package. It's a really awesome package to have. Now let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what's going on under there. So under here we have the M Performance intake, I'm guessing. That's what it says right there. And we actually have a tune for this car that we will be installing a bit later. But other than that, everything looks pretty good under here. We don't see any damage on any of the aprons up here. We do have a couple broken tabs right here on the headlights, but we do have new headlights. And we've already ordered all of the parts that we need for this car. We have a brand new door right here. And then we have a bunch of other parts. We have the little washer tank, the door. There's the tune right there. Also, we have the mirrors. So let's go ahead and get to work on this car. So the first thing we're gonna do on this car is go ahead and jack it up, take this wheel off, and start replacing this control arm. So we got the control arm off and I actually built this little contraption right here to make the car be able to drive. All it is is two bolts or two nuts bolted onto that and then you just tighten it together and it basically conjoins control arms. So if you're ever in a sticky situation, just go ahead and build you something like that and you can get the control arm on, you can drive it off the trailer if you need to. Now let's go ahead and put the new one on. So we got the control arm replaced and hopefully that's the only thing that's damaged. I can't really see any other control arms that are bent or broken. The tire rod looks really straight. So now what we're gonna do is move on to this door. Before we get the door off, let's go ahead and remove this uh, tank right here so we can get to all the bolts and then we can take the door off.
So we got the old door off. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and test fit the new door just to make sure there's no damage to the hinge pillar. So we got the used door on here. All we have to do is actually just push the front hinge a little bit back and now the door opens and closes perfectly. The gaps are beautiful. Everything is good over there. Now what we're gonna do is actually test fit the fender on. We will have to straighten out some of these brackets right here. They are a little bit bent, so we're gonna straighten those out, put the fenders on and quite possibly put the uh, front headlights on and also the bumper. So we got everything back together up front. We are just putting everything on just to see how everything lines up. And all the gaps look really good. On this side, everything looks good. We got the headlights on, everything lines up beautifully. And over here, everything's good. All the gaps are perfect. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and start taking all this stuff back apart. We really just wanted to make sure everything lines up so we're not lining anything up after the parts are all painted. And then we're gonna take off the door. We still have to take off all the trim and the door handle, everything inside so we can get it trimmed out. So let's go ahead and get to work. So we got the door all disassembled. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and start sanding it and we're gonna pre-paint the inside of the door and the fender. And then once it's painted, we'll put it back on the car.
All right, guys, we got the fender and the door inside the booth. We're gonna trim it out so we can get it back on the car. We got all the parts trimmed out. Once they're good and dry, we'll go ahead and slap them on the car. So now that all those parts are drying, we're gonna go ahead and start sanding the car for paint. We are gonna be doing a blend on this quarter panel right here. And we're also gonna be sanding the hood, the front bumper, and this driver's side fender so we get a perfect paint match. So it's the next day here. We got all the parts painted yesterday. They're all nice and dry. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the door on, line up the fender, line everything up beautifully, and then get it in the paint booth. So we got all the parts on. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and sand this fender and this door. We had a couple of scratches on the door, so we went ahead and fixed them. We're gonna get everything sanded and then fold it in the paint. All right guys, we got the car all sanded down inside the paint booth and taped up. The only thing that's left to do is clean it and shoot it.
So the cars are all dry. Paul did an amazing job on the paint job per usual. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and start slowly putting this entire car back together and get it back on the road. So we got the entire BMW back together. It turned out amazing. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and pull this car outside, give it a quick wash and do a little walk around. So we got the car back inside and man does this thing look amazing. We are still missing a couple of things like the front emblem and the rims are actually busted. We're going to be getting a new set but that's going to be for the next video. We also do have a tune so we're going to be tuning it and doing a lot more mods to it. And the cool thing is we did get the M4 replica bumper in the front and man it just looks 
beautiful almost like an m4 is basically a budget build and in the next episode we will be revealing how much we paid for this car it's surprisingly pretty cheap but that's gonna be a wrap for today's video if you enjoyed it go ahead and smash the subscribe button drop a like and also head over to vtune.com if you want to copy some cool merch and also follow me on instagram at vtune thanks for watching